yeah this is we have a uh, unit 4 it's an analytical modeling and output right unit 4 will be on analytical modeling and output from the special tools right you can see here what are all analytical modeling uh, we have or uh, the basics of the analytical modeling can be seen from here <coughs> analytical modeling means it's a technique in fact in the special tools is a technique used for predict or simulate the real world phenomena or process and it's art and science of predictive analysis of special forms right and the process basically it will be useful for uh, de making decisions decision making purpose this analytical modeling will help a lot for example you have the <clears throat> floods for example cyclone occurred the floods due to the floods today rainfall is 10 mm so how much area will be inundated right if the rains continue another 10 days with a similar uh, what do you call the volume of rainfall maybe 10 mm or 20 mm how much area will be the prediction can be taken quickly how much area will be inundated or if I dig a pond or I put a irrigation canal up to this much width and this much length, how much area will be covered under agriculture where I can bring fallows into agriculture. That type of analytical modeling or predictive uh, models can be run, analysis can be done for taking decisions, right? For example, due to the floods, the inundation, if you know, you can take preventive measures where how much geographical area will be inundated, how much crop will be vanished due to that flood will be known initially. Pre-predict analysis can be done. Prediction can be done due to the specific cyclone if you know that, right? Such a way or specially you can take the same. And like various problems has been identified while using GIS to model special process like quality of source data for model calibration, availability of real world data and implementation within the GIS. If you see the process model, it's like a interlinked process to have an expected response are a kind of probable response uh, for process model explain that the result can be anticipated under existing or given conditions. It's like almost similar previous model only. Right? You will anticipating how much will be damaged or covered, how much area I can cover to putting particular facility. Right? Such as spatially you can do that. Right? But if you see the physical and environmental process models, there are different four types of uh, process models we have. But basically, we never use all these uh, models. But uh, the, the, the first one, uh, the third one is very important. Decision making model uh, is very important where planners used to take the decision. But we have four kinds of process models in special tools. Okay. Uh, just I'm. Physical environmental, you can see the build reliable model of physical environmental. Just I'm skipping this. Decision making process, this is very important. Under these four models, if you see the decision making processing modeling is very important because it covers many things like starting from what is your problem, define the problem, selection of data layers and criteria which you provide, like weightages, etc., and then standardization of credit creation score allocation of weightages, the linking events and the running the model. I will give you one example for this. Like if you want to put a check dams in your geographical area where you have 50 hectares or 100 hectares of hectares of land, hectares of land, where one watershed project is there. So in this process, what is your main aim? In that watershed project, I want to put some checks where water should not run, water should walk either it should walk or it should stand that is my aim that is my issue problem will be water should stop or it should run it should walk it should not run as a watershed component so as a spatial analysis as a GIS man the spatial tool like decision making tool will help us like where should be what kaha kaha check dam banane se ab mujhe water mujhe ruk sakta hai for that you will find the problem Select the data layer, which are all, you should have different thematic data. Like land use, land cover, dryness, soil, slope, right? Having all four kinds of data, then you make it as a standardization, then give the weightages. Weightages in the sense, for example, in the dryness. To put the check dam, which dryness order is suitable, that should be given priority or more weightages. Land use, land cover. When irrigated areas, I don't want to bother about that. I don't want to give prioritize more priority. Should, no need to give. 
I should give more priority for fallow land, wasteland, where I can provide some water and use the land. Right? Such a way, we should give the weightages first for all the data layers. You have five, four to five layers we have to use. Drainage, slope, soil, and land use, land cover, geomorphology. Considering these five layers, within the layer, again, when you give the weightages, then system calculate using this run the model, right? System calculates which are all locations suitable for check dam. My aim is to put the check dam. Since we are asking GIS to show the which are all locations suitable for check dam. Then taking your inputs as a weightages, system calculates, then it runs the model, then it will show as a geographically what are our locations suitable for putting your check dam within the watershed project or any geographical area. That way, it's a graphical user interface through the GIS base, it will show you for decision making in a graphical mode, in a mappable form. Then we have human processing model, there are many friends, right? Uh, just I'm skipping this. Okay, so output of the GIS, finally if you see all the activities in GIS are map driven, we all know, whatever you speak, whatever you talk, whatever you plan, uh, monitor, everything should be in mappable form, our information will be speaks map only, map speaks everything, right? So in this form, mapping a single ever or process for based on its attribute, but the essence of GIS mapping is to handle many attributes either to combine or interrelate to drive in the map output. If in single map, you may have hundreds of, uh, what do you call that? <clears throat> this is my map, I have different road networking, right? Each road will have different attributes. In my table, I have different attributes, name, name of the road, type of the road, condition of the road, era of construction. So based on attribute, you can separate, dif prepare different map. For example, this entire district, show me all Kacha road, Paka road. So based on your attribute, type of based on the type of road, Kacha road shown in different color, Paka roads in different color. One single map has come based on the attribute. The similar way, what you call year of construction, show me 2002, 2005, 2005 to 2010, 10 to 15. So if you classify three years, all three years data will be classified in the map. And also name of the road like national highway, state highway, right? And district road or X, Y, Z. Based on the name of the road also it will classify. So based on your given attribute, map will be represented and classified. Single map, single thematic data will have different maps based on attribute. Only roads map hai. You have both are attributes there. Ek ek attribute ke ek ek map ban sakta hai. Where you get output from the GIS before after analysis. Mujhe chahiye type wise. Mujhe chahiye year wise map. Mujhe chahiye condition wise. Kaun sa condition mein road hai. Bad condition road kaun sa kaun sa hai. Good condition road kaun sa kaun sa hai. Kaun sa kaun sa road need to repair. Based on these parameters of the attributes of your special entities. The map will be indicated. You can generate output. Similar a single map. Single thematic data may have different like census data. Right? Kacha Paka house, one map. Census data may have male, female, alag, occupation, alag. what are all attributes we have in Excel? No? Those many maps can be generated using GIS. Where you will get the output. So if you see for each map creation process, one need to be ascertained to its purpose by answering the following questions. What will be shown in the map or what is the theme? That is the main thing. And does the map need to stand on its own or will it be a part of a larger presentation? And also who are the targeted map user? Kisko map zarurate. Based on that, you will generate what information to be communicated to the people through the map. That is very important before getting output from the GIS. What may, <clears throat> what may be combined result few data layers together to answer geographic question. As I said, for watershed, they just check them. What are all layers should be combined together to get the answer for their question, right? So this way, before getting your output of JS, one should be clear to whom we are, what data we should represent, right? Is it single data or multiple data? Accordingly, you have to follow the <coughs> standards of JS. 
So these are all special decision support teams like analytical modeling, database management, graphical display capability, tabular reporting, decision maker, experts knowledge. So these are the inputs in fact you say <coughs> for special decision system. This is SDSS, special decision support system. You should have this five capacity if you made it a model. The person decision maker no need to be a master in the GIS. He or she can directly download that. Is a drop down menu. She or he can select. For example, she select check them as a one drop down menu. Second one is their own geographical area, maybe district, block, village, something. Then system will and uh, it will calculate and show what are all suitable locations for check them as a for the decision making. Such a way we can use this special decision support directly. Where should be what? Right? You don't need to generate any thematic data individually. System will be done using this tabular reporting capabilities and decision makers expect knowledge already incorporated, done it, then directly you can analyze using this. So these are the special SDSS is now it's a very this framework is very important. Now many departments they are using because we cannot make everyone as a GS expert. Isn't it? So once you do this SDSS, you built it. Generate it, analyze it, put it as a ready-made form, so that any layman, any officer who is the, who does not have GIS knowledge, still he or she can able to use the criteria, use this tabular form, use this database management system, then use that or while creating the data, they will also use decision makers expert knowledge also, like fellow land is suitable or agricultural land is suitable, for example, while generating this ready-made data. They already given their expert inputs. So using these five components, you make a special decision making system. You see now Bhuvan and RSC National Remote Sensing Center under Indian Space Research Organization, they are also giving different ready-made data. Like Yuktadhara is one tool recently launched for the means uh, uh, by the ISRO, exclusive for uh, Ministry of Rural Development, where you can plan all your uh, Mahatma Gandhi Narega assets. He or she no need to be a master for that. Right? You do not have any. All thematic data set, knowledge, everything being kept in the portal. Just you have to select your drop down menu, select your own area. Kya asset banana chata hai under narega? Kaunsa jaga mein banana chata hai? Then the GIS system, the decision system supporting tool will be enabled by these are locations suitable to create such assets under Mahatma Gandhi Narega scheme. That is the beauty of this special decision support system under. Uh, GIS. So now any layman, any officer, functionist, junior engineer, any any person, we, we need to name it. Right? They can select directly, they can choose, oh, geographical, general location suitable, just he or she has to demarcate it. Considering all this thematic data which we discussed, using weightages, everything system do, GIS system. So this system now, it's very popular or now uh, because it's not only in one sector, education, health, all sectors, they are doing the special decision support system where person can quickly, they can analyze, they can visualize, they can take the decisions, right, with the special tools.